that AMCAS just opened last week. That's right, May 2nd, I believe. So mm -hmm. students are, are capable, are ready to fill it out right now. That's right. If they're going to be applying uh, in this summer cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to AMCAS, you mentioned the list of 15 before, the 15 activities. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of students have questions about what belongs on that list. Should they put 15 things in definitely, or is it permissible to only have 10 things on that list? Oh, it's perfectly permissible to have 10. What we're looking for is, is in quantity, we're looking for quality mm -hmm. of experiences. And uh, the experiences have to vary. They can't all be uh, in the pursuit of medical school. I mean, um, you know, if you've had work experience, we want to see that. If you've had service or volunteer activities, we want to see that. If you've had research, that should be there. If you've had clinical experiences, obviously that should be indicated. And anything sort of in between. And so it's always wise to try to put all those things down separately, make a list, and then call that list. You know, um, you find that in a, you know, these have to be post-secondary experiences. Hopefully you're doing something besides studying mm -hmm. in college. Um, because uh, when you're in medical school, we don't expect you to drop all your interests outside of academics. Um, you have to have a balanced uh, ex um, uh, experience in college and in medical school, frankly, and that's what we look for. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Stemming out of that then, I think that the uh, list of three is another point where students sometimes get a little confused because right. you, you have to select from this list of 15 three that are your most meaningful activities. Right. What do you look for in those activities, and what does that tell you then about a student? Well, first of all, you don't have to list three. You can list up to three. Sure. So that's the confusion I think some students have. Mm -hmm. They feel they have to, um, and if they don't, this is going to be seen as a negative. Not at all. Uh, if you've been doing uh, something that you know has had sustained involvement, and you've grown in that organization or activity, um, and it does mean a, a great deal to you, then let us know what that activity is. Uh, if you think it's um, research, fine. You can talk about that. Maybe you had a publication that came out of the research. Uh, you're listed as a second author, or in some cases, even as a first author. Fantastic. Or if you've been involved in an athletic team and you've grown to the point where you have leadership, that's fine too. But um, what we're looking for is something that has uh, that can clearly demonstrate the contribution you've made and the growth you've made with that uh, activity. Absolutely. I think that idea of growth is a really, just a very hugely important thing for, it is. for that, that aspect of the application.